Look, as a teenager, you are set up for failure because you lack the most crucial and essential part of your life, purpose. The issue isn't with your cell phones or with procrastination, rather it's purposelessness. See, in 2022, I felt the exact same way. I was addicted to video games and junk food, and I got super fat and I was depressed. But this all changed in 2022 where I decided to embark on my fitness journey. And this is where I unlocked my purpose, the cheat code to success. So in this video, I want to help you do the exact same thing by giving you free, very simple applicable steps. At the end of the video, my goal is that you be so focused, so ambitious, and so determined that you completely transform into a completely new person, changing your perspective of the world forever. Now, additionally, I'll also be telling you of why teenagers fail so hard to find their purpose in life. Because if you don't tackle the problem before the solution, you'll never even unlock the solution. And even if you do, it will be short-lived. See, there are three main factors contributing to why teenagers are purposeless. The first one I'd like to talk about is lack of guidance. There are so many influences in the internet. From politics to even influencers, there's different opinions on different things. And for a young adolescent trying to find their way in life, it can be extremely difficult to choose and develop your own values. See, what seems righteous in the eyes of person A might seem like a sin in the eyes of person B. Factor number two, being overwhelmed by work. See, the workload on teenagers has increased. Despite the stereotype that teenagers are lazy and addicted to their phones, they do work hard through school, for side hustles, through extracurriculars. There's tons of external pressure on teenagers in order to get good grades, in order to earn money and stuff like this. This is why stress levels have increased tremendously and so many teenagers suffer with anxiety. And now factor number three is the fear of failure. See, so many of us are programmed to thinking that failure equals bad and we should completely avoid it. This narrative is completely false. In fact, failing is just as important as winning and failure is a part of success. You see, some of the best life lessons that we learn along our journey of life are learned from failing. And if you don't fail, you never succeed average teenager is so afraid to fail you don't even start on your ambitions let's say if you want to start running but you're afraid that you're gonna fall you're gonna injure yourself you're not able to run a full kilometer you don't even start because you're so afraid of failing you make zero progress and this is exactly why so many teenagers are so purposeless see understanding the problem is just 50 percent of the equation to unlock the other 50 percent it's time to talk about the solutions I'd be listing three steps that I have personally used in my own life of how I develop my own purpose, the cheat code to success. Because quite frankly, I want the same for you and you deserve to have a purpose in life. Now the very first step is self-reflection. See, everyone does not have a set purpose. My purpose might be completely different from yours. So it's important now in this step to self-reflect and to think, what do you truly cherish in life? What do you value in life? And what are your opinions on such things? It could be politics and other issues that are going around in the world. I want you to sit down in a quiet, isolated room by yourself without the external influences of even your friends and family members. By doing this, you truly allow yourself to deeply think, what do you truly cherish in life? What do you truly value in life? For my example, I cared about my health, so that's why I got into fitness. Unlocking your purpose is a solo activity. So sit down by yourself and truly and deeply think about your values and self-reflect on who you are. After you find out about yourself, I want you to move on to the second step. This is finding activities that you truly enjoy in life. Using myself as an example, I love video editing. So that's why I do this. That's why I make YouTube videos about this random topic. However, you might not like video editing and that's completely fine because every person likes and hates different things. For example, I might like video editing, but I don't like playing instruments. I don't like socializing. But for you, it might be the completely opposite. And you might have different interests, sports, business, art, whatever it is, you must find something that you truly enjoy generally. See, there's some aspects of video editing that I don't like. However, 
in general. Summarizing video editing, I truly enjoy and the positives outweigh the negatives. So that's why I truly enjoy this path. For you, it might be the same. So find activities that you might have done as a kid before, maybe retry them or try new activities. And by then, you'll probably already find your purpose. And finally, the last step to unlocking your purpose is to take action. See, words might inspire, but only action can create change. And if you're gonna sit there all day talking about how great you are, but you don't even do anything about it, you're kind of a loser. I've always wanted to be fit. I've always wanted to be physically capable for years and years. However, for about four to five years of being overweight, I couldn't because I never took action. And perhaps it's the same with you. To unlock my purpose, that means I had to take action. I had to be comfortable in the uncomfortable situations. Going to the gym for the first time was by far one of the worst experiences I've ever had because I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. However, by that experience and by actually taking action, being consistent after that's how i was able to form my hobby that turned into a passion and eventually a purpose so no matter how difficult things might seem no matter how uncomfortable things might seem you must take action so therefore by watching this video you haven't taken action yet. you haven't succeeded created drive and desire this is why so many unfortunately do not succeed they fail to take action Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, he grew up poor with a missing father figure and basically he had zero chances. However, what he did have was the burning ambition and the passion for football. And this burning passion of football allowed him to train every single day, allowed him to be consistent, allowed him to work hard, especially when others weren't around. And this in turn allowed him to become one of the greatest athletes of all he unlocked his purpose because the sport was part of his values he enjoyed doing it and most importantly he took action so you must be the same in order to be purposeful so watch this video right here of how you can use your newfound purpose in order to get ahead of 99 percent of high school students and if you watch this far thank you for watching be sure to subscribe and try to hit 1,000 subscribers and yeah thank you for your time bye bye